This is a story about asthma and genetics. The airways in the lungs of people with asthma are inflamed and can be very sensitive when exposed to triggers, including cigarette smoke and allergens such as pollen. If someone with asthma is exposed, their airways narrow because of contraction of smooth muscle. This results in breathing difficulties, sometimes quite severe. To alleviate this, asthmatics carry an inhaler, which they use to deliver drugs known as beta-2 agonists. Examples include Ventolin and Albuterol. When inhaled, the drug immediately starts to act on the contracted muscle, causing relaxation. The airway opens up, allowing normal breathing. Of what relevance is genetics? Within the genetic code, DNA, there is a gene called the beta-2 adrenergic receptor gene. The protein encoded by this gene plays an important role in how airways react to asthma drugs. Inside the muscle cell, the gene begins to unwind, and the two strands of DNA separate. Complex enzymes synthesize an RNA copy of the gene, in a process called transcription. After the RNA copy leaves the cell nucleus, the ribosome complex then reads the RNA message codons, which are blocks of three bases in the RNA sequence. Different codons code for different amino acids, which are linked to a growing protein chain. This process is known as translation. Once the RNA has been translated, the drug receptor protein is released from the ribosome, travels through the cytoplasm, and inserts into the cell membrane. Now we can take a look at the interaction of this receptor protein with the asthma drug. The drug seems to act by binding to and temporarily stabilizing the activated form of the receptor. In this activated state, the drug enhances the receptor signaling system represented here by flashes of light. On the membrane surface of each muscle cell, many thousands of these receptor molecules are available for signaling to the interior of the cell the message to relax the airway muscle, which means relief from the asthma attack. Through a complex regulatory process, in effect a safety device to prevent overstimulation, the signal soon begins to die down and the muscle now remains in its relaxed form. Now let us return to the gene that codes for the receptor protein. Inherited genetic differences, known as single nucleotide polymorphisms, exist within the sequence of the gene that codes for the receptor. These genetic variants are copied during transcription, the result being that the genetic codons are now altered and are translated into different amino acids during protein synthesis. These polymorphisms can alter the behavior of the receptor protein after drug exposure. For example, the initial signaling response may not die down quite as much. Some studies have shown that asthma patients with different forms of the receptor exhibit a progressive reduction in signaling over time and repeated drug exposures. Asthma is a serious condition and affects over 300 million people around the world. Death from asthma is rare if the condition is properly controlled. A written plan worked out with a healthcare provider can help someone know when their asthma is out of control and give them the steps to take to maintain or regain control of their asthma.